All right, folks, this is Mr. Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. Today, I've also got some beautiful green serrano peppers. You know, serrano is one of my favorite. They're not terribly hot. I personally love the green taste. And I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being a Louisiana style hot sauce made with the simple ingredients of peppers, vinegar, and salt. Might add a little garlic to it. We'll see when we get them fermented. But anyway, I'm removing all the stems so we can get ready to put them in the Vitamix, grind them up into a mash, and then put them in a vacuum fermentation jar. So bear with me while I remove these stems and we'll get right back to you. I haven't seen them yet, but serrano peppers on occasion develop a characteristic that is quite common with jalapeno peppers. And that characteristic is called corking. Now corking, here's an example of corking. Here's a pepper, it's got all kinds of scars in it. That comes from stress when growing, usually from lack of water. And corking makes a pepper very, very hot. You might have heard people say, we didn't have much rain this year, so my peppers are gonna be hot. That's because the common wisdom is, and matter of fact, the known knowledge is, that peppers that have been under stress from lack of moisture are extra hot. So I hope I see a better example in here before I finish to show you what corking looks like in its extreme form. All right, we're just about finished destemming these peppers. We're gonna have about, I believe it was 4.2 pounds of uh, peppers at the time of purchase. Of course, we're gonna lose the weight of the stems and we're gonna grind these babies up. I think it's gonna make about a half a gallon of uh, mash. So there we go. We'll be right back with you in just a second. Now we got our clean and sterilized uh, half gallon fermentation jar. Clean and sterilized uh, Vitamix mixer. Everything you see up here has been clean and sterilized. Been used earlier today, but in between it was clean and sterilized. Uh, so now we're going to put them in here and we're going to start grinding up some peppers for a Serrano green serrano pepper mash. great sound. A lot of people slice their peppers when they ferment them. I personally, I don't think it's a bad idea, but what we want during fermentation is we want to expose the most possible surface area we can on the pepper. And there's no better way to do that than mashing them. Wow, these things smell a little spicy. I'm telling you.
All right, let's see what we got now. Now we're going to get our scales out here and we're going to calculate our salt. What we're going to do first, we're going to put an empty fermenting jar on the scales, starting up at zero. We're then going to weigh the full jar. And that tells me that there's 1500 grams of peppers in this jar. We want a 4% mix, so that's going to be 60 grams of salt. So now what we're going to do, we'll put this little cup up there, we tear the weight out, and we're going to measure out 60 grams of salt. There we go. That's 60 grams. Now, we're going to mix it in this container. What this salt is going to do is immediately start extracting the moisture from these serrano peppers. That moisture is then going to create a saline solution that's going to protect the whole bunch. The lactobacillus is going to begin eating the sugars in the peppers which is going to create CO2, which is going to flush out the air space in the jar, and it's going to convert the peppers in using the fermentation process. Now, you've heard me say before that the enemy of fermentation is oxygen. So being aware of that fact, what we're going to do is we're going to screw on this one-way valve lid. This has got a valve that will not let any additional air inside the jar, but it will allow build up pressure from the carbon dioxide gas to come out of the jar. But to make it even safer, since there's some oxygen in the top of that jar and there's some oxygen trapped inside the peppers, we're going to use this hand pump and we're going to pump out all the air in that jar. So along with the air comes all the oxygen. What we're going to be left with is a vacuum, a vacuum with no oxygen. So in the first couple of days, when this ferment is kicking off, we don't have to worry about anything growing on these peppers as a result of the presence of oxygen. So this is how you do a vacuum ferment using pepper mash. So what we got here is we got a green Serrano pepper mash sealed in a fermentation container using 4% salt and using a vacuum pump to remove all the air out of the headspace. Hey, thank you folks for joining me and I'll see you next time.